Hello and welcome to program 73 and if you're not familiar with our website it's markplex.com m-a-r-k-p-l-e-x.com and there you will find many free tutorials and also some programs and one of the clients of Markplex asked me whether I had created a strategy based on program 59 and going back to program 59 this was a program that looked at Bollinger and Keltner channels and uh, among other things it looked for a squeeze in the Bollinger band and what I mean by that is the difference between the upper and the lower a lesser amount than that had been for a while and then uh, program 59 included a paint bar study and uh, an indication with for example the paint bar study that squeeze was indicated by a yellow bar and you can see that the distance there is somewhat less than has been for a certain number of bars so i thought about this and i think the problem with with, with this technique is that the the narrowing of the bollinger bands indicates a lessening in volatility and then uh, the expansion uh, represents possibly an increase in volatility which is great but it doesn't really give you an idea of uh, direction so what I've done in this program is created a function and what that function does is when applied using for example a strategy it counts the number of bars after a contraction or after a squeeze and the idea is that if that number is a relatively low number then volatility is increasing and perhaps maybe that would be a good time to get into a trade. So what I've done uh, is actually, I'm uh, just going to turn off the analysis technique, which is program 59. Incidentally, you might also want to have a look at tutorial 98, which is also along the same subject area. But I'm just going to turn off those two programs and go to the strategy. And I'm going to turn on the strategy. And what I've done is I've created a very simple breakout strategy. And in that strategy, the strategy, the strategy is actually using the function. So what the uh, what the breakout strategy does, it looks for cases where the high is greater than the the highest high over a number of bars and the low is less than the lowest low for a number of bars. We also use the function. So you can say, well, I only want to get into a trade if it's within so many bars of a squeeze. And then it's got some trade management capabilities in it, um, including targets, trailing stops, uh, stop and so on but the uh, the main reason for doing it was to show you how you could apply the function so let me just demonstrate that okay so here's the strategy and you can see for the entries what I'm saying is if and then we're calling the function there which is called underscore program 71 and then the inputs are the price series in this case uh, I've said clothes close uh, 20 this is the value used in the Bollinger Band calculations as are two and minus two representing the number of standard deviations uh, above and below an average. And then 120 is the number of bars or the, num yeah, the number of bars that the, this particular difference is less than the difference of the last 120 bars. And then in this program, what I've done is hard coded that and said that that needs to be less than five. In reality, what you would probably want to do is make that an input and then you could uh, optimize on it. But this is not this is not a strategy that uh, you probably want to trade. It uh, would definitely need some work, but I've included some some bones like, for example, the, um, the filters. And I've given you an example here of how you could develop a filter. Okay, so I hope uh, you might find this useful. Uh, again, program 73, the function and associated demonstration strategy. And uh, these will work on multi-charts and both are available for immediate download from my website, markplex.com, M-A-R-K-P-L-E-X. Com. And by the way, if you haven't subscribed to the Markplex YouTube channel, then please do that and then you'll get updated as soon as I release a new video. Thank you.